So viewers, welcome at uh, new Tech Talk here at Best of High End. And today we're proud to have our guest, Bruno Putzeis. Bruno, welcome. Thank you very much. Yes. We're going to touch a lot of subjects. First uh, on the calendar is Purify. Can you tell me a bit about the company? It's a startup, but I'll let you tell the rest of the story. Yeah, it, it's, it is still a startup, but even though we started in 2014, um, the, uh, the company got started because uh, Lars Whisper and I knew each other, or ha have known each other for years. Um, so we'd, we'd, we'd bump into each other every, uh, uh, at every AES convention and, uh, and, and exchange some ideas. And, and sort of we, we always got into, a, in, into an interesting groove immediately. Um, and the uh, and 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 for years we've been saying, oh, wouldn't it be great if we we did something together? Um, and in the and 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 in the end, I think it I think it was in 20, 2014, uh, There was we were at the AS in New York, and that's when I said, well, bugger that, either we do it or we don't. And uh, and I told Lars, and uh, and 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 so after after a few months, we'd uh, well, we basically decided. Each to uh, to quit our respective jobs. Um, Lars at Texas Instruments and myself at Hypex, and uh, and Lars teamed up with his old friend Peter Lingdorf, um, who, uh, who 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 would uh, would would help us found the company and help us bankroll the the, the start of the company. Um, and well, that's that's basically how it started. And uh, and and before before you ask anything as silly as a mission statement. Uh, the mission statement was simply to find an excuse for Lars and myself to do something interesting together, and um, and the, the thing we we picked on was uh, was the fact that well we've we've both we've, we've both been building amplifiers in the past. Um, um, Lars is is of course quite well known for the for the the, the, the tech millennium, which uh, which in one shape or another is is, is still being used at Steinway Lindorf. So both of us amplifier guys, but uh, but both of us realised that that the, the really interesting problem had uh, had now moved towards loudspeakers because amplifiers were were slowly stopping, uh, they, or were slowly no longer being the uh, the the, the, uh, the bottleneck in the in the chain, um, whereas the loudspeaker was. And our initial idea um, was to um, was to to work on a. On an, an, a kind of a DSP algorithm that could pre-compensate for distortion in loudspeaker drivers, um, and uh, with with the idea of then um, integrating that into some sort some sort of a digitally controlled power amplifier uh, setup, um, I think the idea is still is still alive, um, but uh, it. it, it Quickly dawned upon us that 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 the, the the amount that we had to learn about loudspeaker drivers, how loudspeaker drivers behave, or more precisely how they misbehave, um, that that knowledge could immediately be used to actually improve the drivers themselves, and and uh, uh, rather than 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 spending another I don't know twenty million euros or, or whatnot uh, on, on on getting an integrated circuit done. Um, so that's when we shifted gear a bit and uh, and, and and settled on uh, on on doing drivers separately and um, and and also uh, amplifiers again. But uh, the idea that um, uh, that Purify would be doing amplifier modules that really came quite uh, uh, came quite late in the uh, in, in in the whole development. Mm -hmm. So you started it with Lars, but um, in the meantime, we're now 2024. It's a whole team. Can you can you present the team as as of today as it is? Um, we uh, essentially the, the large part of the team um, are former uh, TI colleagues of Lars, um, because shortly after uh, after uh, Lars left TI in order to form Purify, um, uh, the the uh, TI. In, in Texas, decided to close the office in, in Lumbu. Um, so that was an opportunity for us to uh, to essentially well take over the exist uh, an existing team of people who knew, knew each other inside out, lock, stock, and barrel. Um, and we uh, so, so that's what we what we did. So um, 
Uh, so the result is now that uh, Purify is is mostly being run run by uh, uh, by, by Klaus Nesgaard, um, uh, who uh, who also used to uh, to, to, to manage uh, to, to manage development, sales, and marketing in the uh, at, at, at TI. There's uh, Søren Poulsen, who um, uh, who is uh, is uh, uh, was um, responsible for some of the very high power um, integrate, uh, amplifier integrated circuits at, uh, at, at at TI, and uh, and and is is currently uh, mostly involved with um, uh, with, with uh, things like reliability characterization of the uh, of, of of the uh, of the amplifiers. Um, then we've got Kim Messon, um, who, uh, uh, who was an application engineer at TI and actually is still an application engineer for, 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 for Purify at the moment. And he does that both for the, for the driver business and for the, for the amplifier business. Because uh, Søren and Kim, uh, the two of them, are pretty good speaker builders, uh, apart from, from, from electronics engineers as well. Then uh, we also team, uh, t- teamed up with um, a, a consultancy company called uh, called Point Source, which uh, which is is, uh, is now um, uh, mostly subsumed into uh, into Purify, um, which was uh, Carsten Tingvold and Morten Halverson. Um, Carsten is probably best known for uh, for for being the, uh, the, the 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 head of um, manufacturing at the uh, at the former Peerless plant in 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 uh, in, in, in Denmark, and he is uh, r- responsible for the development of a raft of absolute classic Peerless drivers um, drivers that are that, that 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 are still very much respected and, and still very much up there in in. in in, uh, in 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 terms of performance, um, and uh, so, so he and uh, and 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 Morton uh, joined us as well, and uh, and and and, uh, and and Carsten's uh, main responsibility is trying to uh, to 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 get the uh, the, the manufacture of uh, of speaker drivers uh, on on the road. But it has to be said that that we we don't really have these these very sharply defi- defined roles in our in 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 in, in our company because as I said. Said Kim and Saren, they'll they, they'll help out with uh, with uh, with, uh, with the uh, uh, on on the loudspeaker side and the amplifier side of the uh, of, of the business. Um, I think probably Lars is the one who's, who's got the clear, got, got the sort of the, the most clearly defined job at the moment because uh, because he just decided that that he wanted to concentrate solely on the on on the driver development at Purify. So uh, so so we. So, so I kept the amplifiers and part of the driver work, uh, sort of all the workaday work, uh, and 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 he does really the advanced development of all the um, of all the cones, surround, um, and vibro acoustics uh, uh, side. But anyway, but yeah, what I wanted to say is we are we are basically a, a bunch of people who can who, who can fruitfully discuss all of these items uh, together and 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 give. Give uh, give uh, valuable input for 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 both product lines. Mm-hmm. Well, you asked me not to 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 get into the mission statement of Purify, <laughs> but I want to touch a little bit of the the, the yeah of, of the direction of the company because yeah you can clearly say it's technology driven. You talk about um, yeah amplifiers. You talk about drivers. But what was the goal there? For instance, with the drivers, yeah, technology driven, of course. Well, it was simply to to, uh, to to improve driver performance as it stood. Um, the, 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 the electromagnetic driver has been uh, was was, it was invented um, well more than hundred years ago now, um, and the the structure of a, of an electrodynamic driver is not that much different now than it was than it was then. And unfortunately, the, some, some of the distortion mechanisms that are present, uh, uh, that, that were present then, are still present now. And we didn't feel that there, were, that there had been a lot of fundamental work going on trying to, to combat these. Um, and, and especially the, in, in the past, I don't know, 30 years, people were, were, were more concerned about what cone material that they were going to use than, than whether the, uh, the, 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 the strength of the, of the magnetic, magnetic field inside the motor 
was uh, was independent of uh, of, uh, of drive current, which uh, which which is quite shocking because that's, for instance, a problem that was was known since the 50s and well was well described in one particular paper by a chap called Cunningham, and uh, and was completely forgotten afterwards. So the, the I mean th- those were simply outstanding problems that that uh, that, that were that, that were just lying wide open to be improved upon. Mm-hmm. So basically, you're a bunch of brilliant engineers put together to solve some some issues or try to 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 get get ahead of them. Exactly. So to try and identify the problems and then try uh, try to solve them. And uh, and at the start, I, I must admit, we weren't actually expecting to be able to solve some of those the, those issues as definitively as we have. Um, so so some of those those distortion mechanisms we've basically managed to eliminate them completely. Um, so that was that was unexpected, but uh, uh, but but, uh, but, but I mean, of course, once you understand how they work, it is perfectly reasonable. But uh, but 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 prior to actually having having done this 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 whole modelling work, and prior to being able to, to 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 predict exactly what a speaker driver would would do based on 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 uh, on on on, on uh, based on measurements and simulations and so on, we we we, we could we, we couldn't have guessed how successful it would, would uh, it, 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 it would be. But, uh, but we are also inveterate music lovers, um, so th- I mean, there's a reason why we do that, um, uh, and, and and that is that, that is simply because we always suspected that the uh, performance of, of of drivers was not good enough as far as as let's say the the the, the, the human ear was concerned. Um, and um, uh, Lars, for instance, he's also uh, he's also uh, also a professional cello player. To, to give you an idea, so 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 this is not not purely engineering for engineering's sake. It is because we actually uh, actually think that we are going to achieve something uh, there that that is actually germane to well music enjoyment. Mm-hmm. Bruno, can you give us a, a glimpse of of how do you guys operate? I mean, like you live in Belgium, you're Belgium based, but there are a lot of Danish guys. How do you guys work together? How do you operate? I, I, I do consider the fact that I work remotely as as a bit of a handicap. There's there there, there, there are no two, uh, two two ways about that. Um, um, I work from home. Um, I have uh, I, I have a decently equipped uh, lab at home, so I've got, and I've got. An, Pleasant office space overlooking the garden, uh, where I can do all the all, all sort of all, all computer and design work, and then I can and and and, and then I can, I, I can actually do quite a lot of testing and verification in my pokey little lab, um, and then uh, we are in touch via uh, via the usual online means all the time. Um, it it works, but uh, but but uh, but, but it. I, I would like to be able to go there more often. Um, so currently, I'm, I'm sort of going going there for a, for a week every few months, which is which is not much. Uh, and, and usually, those weeks are completely uh, uh, eaten up by social activities and not so much by actual work. Hmm. Well, that's the fun part. You guys are, are yeah a startup grown in 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 the meantime, but your products are for aimed at which market you can tell me a little about that as well i think i think we are quite squarely um aimed at the performance end of the of, of the audio market mm-hmm. um it is it, it's, it simply isn't isn't possible to uh to to to, to build drives like these in uh, in in denmark and then then sell them at rock bottom prices so so we are we 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 are at the expensive end but uh, but, but on the other end uh, we we are quite confident that our drives are the best out there by quite a margin both both the amplifiers and the and, and the drives are basically for for um, manufacturers of end user products uh, for whom sound quality really matters Commercially speaking, um, Bruno, the products of Purify are aimed at the OEM market. Uh, they are. So, uh, so, so we we do have uh, we are active in the DIY market as well, um, as you might have noticed. But basically, what we sell to DIYs are the uh, are the are the same evaluation kits that we also offer to uh, to, to OEMs who want to try out the amplifier and their 
um, in, in their lab. And I have to say that the DIY market is, is an extraordinarily gratifying one to, uh, to, to, to be active in because of all the, the, the direct contact that you have with, uh, with people who are just really enthusiastic, really happy with, um, with, with the results that they, that they are getting. But yes, um, we, we basically sell to, to, uh, to, to, uh, to OEMs, um, manufacturers and of, of end user goods. Yeah. Um, already uh, did did some some uh, manufacturers pick up some some OEM products uh, some some big uh, manufacturers that you can can point out that are using purify technology products well uh, basically our, 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 our well, our best known early adopter was was NAD for the for, for, uh, for the, the, the the amplifiers, uh, and then for the for for, for the drivers, there's uh, there, there's a, a sort of an an, an up and coming company called Buchart uh, Audio, which is uh, which, which which at the moment is is is, uh, is extraordinarily successful. I have to admit that 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 being uh, be, being more on the engineering side, um, I, I often. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to to, uh, to to list a bunch of names off the top of my head. <laughs> Sorry for that. No, no problem. We'll be talking some more with Bruno about his personal career. We'll have a little walk around the different companies that he used to work for, and then of course we'll dig in with the Purify products, talking about the drivers and talking about the Eigentact amplifiers and last but not least we'll talk about the future of Prodify, uh, purify sorry for that and the upcoming products but that's in a new tech talk so bruno thank you for this one and uh, see you guys at the next one thank you <laughs>